oh, we got another one to get married? Really? This is Charity, and welcome back to the For Rent Expansion Pack. Now, I'm just playing here with Zara Kimani, and we're trying to get enough money to buy a really big, expensive warehouse and turn it all into apartments. And so I have built out her lot a little bit since she had some more money from the last time. And we have a huge apartment building. It's only three floors at the moment, but most of it is also empty. So if you remember last time, we did have a family here in this first apartment, but at the end of the episode, they actually left and broke their lease. So they are no longer there we'll have to get a new family. I did expand the apartment a little bit and made it two bedrooms or actually three bedrooms. And we have some more beds in there, a little bit more furniture and everything is looking pretty nice. I did move Zara back into this unit. So we will actually be living in the units that we're renting out. And I know that there's bugs with rental payments when you live in the unit, but I've just decided that I'm going to cheat the money for the rental payments unless I notice a tenant is not paying their rent. I'm going to have to cheat the money daily because it seems like even when I do everything correctly and I have Zara living in a different lot on a different world, she still doesn't get paid the correct amount of rent. She only gets paid one day's worth of rent every single time, no matter how long the person has been in that apartment. So let's figure out who's going to be renting from us now. All right, the person who's willing to pay the most for the apartment is a teen and their dog. I am going to be nice and I did remove the rule of no pets allowed. We're not going to do that. We're not going to have no pets allowed and then move in someone who has a pet. Uh, it's a little bit cheaty. So I have other ways of cheating now. All right, so Cam is now going to be our residential rental. And what I really need to happen is I need to be able to sort junk mail because I need to find that junk mail thing, but I haven't been able to find it yet. So we're going to stay at our unit and try to get that. Okay, today is prank day. We're also going to make a shower and a chair. So the shower is because we have no way of cleaning ourselves up other than the sink. And then the chair is for this desk right here. We need a computer for some of our handy person job assignments. So I don't think that it's right to go to other lots and use other people's things. So we will try to get a computer for our house here. Okay, we'll allow ourselves to work on mischief a little bit because it is prank day. But once our goal is met, we will stop doing that. Well, we didn't get the mail today, but we're going to start a break in and see if we can get the use a squat toilet and maybe find a computer somewhere. Probably not. Oh, we need a rice cooker for one of our aspirational goals. We'll try and swipe that. There's no computer in here, though. Bess, another woman entrepreneur. I'm almost there and starting my company, but my pockets are running dry on simoleons. Think you can give an extra thousand to get to the finish line? No, I'm going to call you out for never paying me back because what happens is if you keep giving her simoleons, eventually she might have a payout of like 20,000, but I find that you almost have to give her that much before she actually pays out. I'm not going to gamble. Okay, we need to buy food and a t-shirt from the night market, but I think what I'm going to do is try and haggle. Of course not. Let's try asking for a discount. What does that do? It was a friendly interaction. Oh, we can buy discounted items. But I need local attire, not discounted items. Okay, well, we're going to buy the discounted items first. And there's a few marbles and a lantern and some tassels we'll buy a few things and we bought the shirts we're not really hungry i guess we'll try some soup 
Oh, it's spicy. All right, I have repealed all of the neighborhood action plans, and I don't like the We Wear Bags action plan. Sorry, you guys can't have that one. Okay, we're going to sneak into the Tiger Sanctuary and see what we can find. Sanctuary Snacks. Sneaking through the lobby, Zara sees an employees-only room to the far right. That must be where they keep the good snacks. Tiptoeing towards the door, the sound of approaching footsteps Echoes off the stone and tile. Someone's coming. She better find a way to avoid getting caught. Make a sneaky dash for the employee room. Hide in a nearby trash can. Uh, let's try the sneaky dash. And we got the tiger inspection badge. Oh, that's awesome. That's easy. I probably just got lucky. Zara's heart was pounding, but the guard strolled on by. Thankfully, not even bothering to look in this room. Feeling proud of herself, she looked around and spotted some very tasty snacks. Grabbing as many as her arms could carry, Zara decided it was time to skedaddle with these ill-gotten goods. She was lucky enough to dodge the guard once, but a second run-in is best avoided. A tiger inspection badge was found and has been placed in the inventory. It can be used as the perfect alibi for any snooping or break-ins. And we are a tiger inspector. Oh, pry of the tiger sims are more successful when rummaging and sorting through junk mail. Best of all, they have the perfect alibi when caught breaking into someone's home. A tiger inspection badge. Well, that's awesome. That means if we actually do get some junk mail to sort through, we're more likely to get that discounted coupon. Okay, I know there's a computer in here. There's got to be one. Okay, there it is. I do not have enough skill to actually steal it, though. But I can research repair techniques. We'll just steal the sink. And we'll use the computer. Oh, and we got promoted to handy person level three. Oh, a haunting in the other unit. Hopefully that counts as a... No, it shouldn't count as a maintenance event. Oh, well. I'll try it anyway. So, here is Dara. Where is the ghost? Oh, there it is. Now, it helps if you introduce yourself to the ghost first, and then you confront them. Well, that didn't work. Okay. I had to do it twice. Okay, we'll make some rice in the rice cooker. And, of course, we're not the best cook, so it's a poor bowl of rice. Now, we have the welcome wagon here again. Okay, all four of these sims have secrets. Bill has the Bell of the Eyeball secret. There are rings I see folks wearing around town. They're odd to say the least. It's not just how they look, it's how they look, if you know what I mean. Um, no, I don't. They appear to be looking at me and only me. Every time I see them, the eyes follow me. Listen, it wouldn't be such a big issue if only one other sim had this ring. But they're everywhere, at least to me. And when I close my eyes, these rings are all I can see. I'm never alone. The rings will never leave me. I've been having nightmares about them. And lately, they've been escalating. In the last dream I had, I saw myself wearing one of them. It sent a chill down my spine. I would never let those rings get to me like that, would I? Oh, this is such a fun poke at all the Sims and all the townies wearing eyeball rings because it's such a bad item that it's become corny and rolled back around again to become campy and cheesy and popular. Fruitcake Fumble. Greeting a new neighbor is supposed to make for an exciting day, but for me, it turned out to be one of the most embarrassing days of my life. I mean, you simply must bring a fruitcake to welcome a new neighbor. I can't imagine not doing it. How else would you help them feel at ease in their new home? But that day, I managed to bake one of the worst fruit cakes ever. Listen, in my dreams, the sun was in my eyes. So, of course, I couldn't see that I was measuring out a cup of salt, not sugar. You have to believe me. Well, that's another Sims 4 Easter egg. Fruit cakes are legendary. In a pickle, I truly, deeply, irrevocably hate pickles. I just do. I hate them. They're so sour in the most face-contorting way, and yet I still eat them. 
I eat them because sometimes my friends or family will say they don't like pickles. So I take them. I just wanted to be helpful, feel useful for once. Maybe it was also to prove a point. I didn't want people to think I was the type of person who hates pickles. And now I take on the burden of the pickle. Everyone thinks I love them. Every birthday, I end up with pickle memorabilia, monthly pickle club memberships, homemade pickles, even pickles imported from alien planets. It never ends. Now all I have is a closet full of pickles and a stomach full of lies. Crummy friend. Yes, it's true. I've put plenty of bags of chips back when I've eaten all the whole chips, leaving just the fractured pieces and crumbs for everyone else. I don't care. I only want the full chips. If you want your own full chips from the top of the bag, go get your own bag of chips. I just can't be bothered to care, honestly, but I wouldn't actually want anyone to know I do that on the regular. Don't tell on me. Well, we're actually not going to blackmail anyone anymore. We're just going to allow people to come to us and ask us to keep the secret. Oh, wait, she has a computer? I completely missed that. She actually got a portable computer from the dumpster. I think it's from the dumpster. It has to be because it's broken. There's a cave over here. Maybe we should explore that. Oh, another multiple choice rabbit hole. Rocky beginnings. Making her way into the cave, Zara realizes the rocky surfaces around her are quite slippery from the recent high tide. Stopping to take stock of the situation, something catches her attention way up above. There appears to be a relatively dry ledge that snakes around out of sight. It's perilous, but could she make the climb? The cave also stretches onward dead ahead and looks like it might dry out in the not so far distance. She'd just have to make it over these treacherous rocks. Um, let's climb up to the ledge above or continue forward across the slippery rocks. Eh, we'll just climb up to the ledge above, I guess. Zara looked the wall up and down, carefully plotting out a course of sturdy looking handholds. She slowly made her way up, hand over hand, until hoisting herself onto the ledge. It was narrow, but relatively sturdy. So back against the wall, she shuffled forward, eventually coming to a small opening. Well, I've made it this far, she said quietly to herself and crawled through. Blinking away the sunlight, Zara seems to be on a small platform overlooking the water in the direction of Ka Sapa. The crystalline waters glisten in the sunlight as fish make their way through it. Birds are soaring through the air in nearby trees, chirping wildly. The city looks picturesque in the distance, a living postcard. What an amazing little spot. Yeah, I was about to say, you're not going to ride your bike into the water, are you? It's a really far swim to that cave. I don't think it's worth it, especially for the little moodlet that we got. Maybe you can find tassels or something in there. Oh, electrical failure. That has to be an event. Okay, I think all you have to do is repair the fuse box, but I'll go ahead and repair everything. No, of course, just repairing the fuse box doesn't work when I'm the landlord in this series. Okay, I handled a maintenance event. Why is it not completing? Does an electrical failure not count as a maintenance event? I'm pretty sure that it should. I'm just going to complete that. Well, actually, that might have been an emergency event for the electrical failure, not a maintenance event. But I handled the ghost. I'm not sure what counts as maintenance. So I'm just going to say I did it and we'll move on to the next one because now I have to handle an emergency event. I'm going to ask you something important. Okay, so here it is. Is cereal soup? Um, it's cereal. I would say no, but it could also be considered soup, I guess. I, soup to me has to be hot. I don't know if I could consider anything cold soup. Okay, she's on the same page. Well, we finally have enough to repair the bed. And it's a plain gray one. Well, maybe we'll use it. I wonder if we can set it to the max rent during their grace period. We should be able to. Now they're paying 7,304 simoleons a day. Oh, right. We need to uproot a garden plant. I really don't want to uproot any of these. Well, I guess the tree is the one I like the least. 
Oh, whoops. We got struck by lightning. We have to go back inside now. Attend local neighbor issue. Okay, I think that sends us to a rabbit hole, though. Okay, we'll do some inspections on this unit while we're here. Oh, no, it's cursed. Now we have to find the cursed book. No, you're not going to eat. You're going to eat your food at home. Okay, where is the cursed book? Fine, I guess the hot dog counts as real food anyway. Now, where is that book? I don't see it. Oh, right, we have other floors. I have to check. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Should we mail it away or we should destroy it? We'll try mailing it away because in my experience, if you destroy it, you always start fires and it's annoying. She has pretty good mischief skill anyway. Okay, that should have counted as a maintenance event. Okay, so emergency event should be when they have electrical failure or the water leakage. So we're just taking time to repair and clean all of the furniture and everything that we found in the dumpster. We have so much stuff. We could easily make another apartment, I think. Well, there's a water leak, but it's in my apartment. I wonder if this counts as an emergency event. Oh, it does. Okay, we did get rent today, but that's only one day's worth of rent. And it's the old rent. It's not the rent that I changed it to. Well, it's Harvest Fest, and we're going to give all the gnomes coffee. I'm beginning to think that I'm never going to get any junk mail. Okay, now my other unit is haunted. All right, where is the ghost? There you are. Well, confronting is not going so well this time. All right, we were able to do it. Well, here we are back at Judy's house. I want to take the chess table, but before I do that, I'm going to take both of the chairs. Apparently, I misplaced my rice cooker somehow. So, we're going to go to someone's house to see if they have one. Well, this person has a kettle. Not what I want. Okay, this one has a pressure cooker. Alright, so we made our second recipe. And our last recipe. Alright, now we need to explore Tomarang's cave, which we have done already. Explore the tiger sanctuary and view the statue of Kun... May and the tiger. All right, we'll explore the cave again. And that was it. I didn't get any sort of pop-up. Okay. Well, while I was swimming, it turned cold. And unfortunately, Zara is in her... Okay, she's allowed to change while she's swimming. All right, that's fine. It works for me. I wonder if sneaking into the sanctuary counts as exploring it. I should. Caught in the act. Under the cover of night, Zara approaches the sanctuary's entrance in hopes of simply slipping inside and looking around. Unfortunately, with just one foot in the door, the shine of a guard's flashlight stings her eyes. Caught red-handed and blinded by the accusatory shine, she better scramble to find an excuse quickly. We'll claim to be looking for a lost item last time. That got me a tassel. And this time I got me a tassel as well. Oh, by the way, it did not count as exploring the sanctuary by sneaking in. Well, this time I get eaten by the machine. You would think you would be able to die in that, but nope. I don't think there's a death associated with it. It should be drowning, though. It just makes you dazed. Oh, there's a sewage leak. Is it in this unit? Or, yeah, it's probably in this unit. Yep, okay. It looks like I'm going to have all of the events in my unit now. This is what happens, unfortunately, if you live in one of the units. It seems like all of the events happens in the owner's unit. Although I did have a couple of events in Thigh's unit too, so... Oh, she's a young adult now. Okay, good. We can fight her because it's fight day. Oh, I thought she was my tenant, but no, she's not. She's just an old friend. Well, I'm hoping they might have a computer in here. They do, but I'm not skilled enough to steal it. Okay, I'll have to make do with some lights. Lease break. Okay, Cam is moving out. Less than satisfactory rental conditions? Come on, that was a five-star unit. I thought that wasn't supposed to happen. 
yeah, it's a five star unit. Maybe because I raised the rent. Okay, that might be a thing. But hey, I didn't really raise it that much. Well, I guess we get to renovate and get new tenants. Oh, we got another one to get married. Really? Okay, I guess we're going to say money, 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 give me now. Now, the last time this happened, our partner died. And that is so sad. What about Ty Lin? Are you single? We're already good friends. Yes, she is single. Okay. So are you interested in women? No, I didn't think so. Well, what we really need in order to have another unit is a refrigerator. So let's see if we can get one from this place. It seems really random whether or not you can break in. And they have a refrigerator that we can take. Well, it might be too much to find a partner tonight because we only have about three hours left until the end of the episode. Okay, Vanessa is single. Oh, and she's into women. Okay, well, this might be easy. Okay, so we might have a new girlfriend. So this is the end of the week and this is Charity. Thanks for watching. trip.